Despite having what was already the most advanced and capable media streamer on the market, Nvidia is about to update their Shield TV. Based on the improvements, it is pretty clear that Nvidia wants the Shield TV to become not only an all-encompassing home entertainment hub, but a smart home hub as well. Before we move on, quick message from our sponsor. This show coverage is possible thanks to Nvidia, Gigabyte, Fantex, and NCIX. While nothing was said about any internal changes, the new Shield TV features a sleeker, 40% smaller but still familiar design, and will now come bundled with both an updated gaming controller and a remote control. You previously had to buy the remote, so having both will certainly help cement the Shield TV as one of the most complete entertainment devices for the living room. Assuming that the hardware has remained indeed the same, this streaming device is powered by Nvidia's Tegra X1 chip, which pairs an octa-core 64-bit ARM CPU with a 256-core Maxwell-based GPU. It also has the ability to play 4K videos in H.265, H.264, and VP9. And now it supports 4K HDR as well, so that's awesome. The support for 4K HDR is impressive and a critical selling point, because up till now, there have only been a handful of devices that can do so. The Shield TV blows them all away because it not only supports Netflix 4K HDR, but it is the only media streamer to support Amazon Video 4K HDR. It now also supports Google Play Movies and TV 4K, Voodoo 4K, and YouTube 4K. Basically, all the UHD bases are covered. Uh, in a few months, the YouTube TV app will also be available, and that will bring the ability to view 360-degree videos as well. Since this is an Android Nougat TV-based device, it has also been updated to the latest and greatest Android 7.0, and it can run thousands of apps including Amazon Video, Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, HBO, ESPN, Vudu, Showtime, Pandora, Spotify, Sling TV, PlayStation View, Plex, Kodi, etc. There are now over a thousand fully optimized games in the NVIDIA Shield Store, over a hundred of which NVIDIA describes as console class. If AAA PC games are what you want, GeForce Now can be used to stream PC games from the cloud, or using NVIDIA's game stream, you can cast games directly from your own system, as long as it has a compatible GeForce GTX GPU. Apparently, you'll be able to cast games up to 4K HDR, but we will see how well that works out. One huge announcement is that both Ubisoft, Uplay, and Valve stream support are also incoming, so gameplay possibilities on the Shield TV are essentially going to be limitless. The changes to the controller are pretty interesting. Changes are the elimination of capacitive buttons and axing the touchpad since Android N has new features that don't require it. Unfortunately, feedback about the controller was mixed from our team of three. The thinner body part is great for smaller hands, but some of us thought the new angular surface wasn't comfortable. Arguably, the most surprising thing we saw was the addition of Google Assistant, an intelligent personal assistant developed by Google. No other device aside from Google's high-end Pixel phones have this unique voice-based features. So how will you interact with the Google Assistant? Well, the newly included remote has an always listening microphone built in and it supports a number of hands-free TV commands. To expand the AI functionality of the entire home, Nvidia will also have a peripheral for the Shield TV, the Nvidia Spot Microphone Speaker Accessory. This golf ball size Wi-Fi connected gadget plugs into any electrical outlet and it can hear your commands questions from up to 20 feet away. Uh, it then wirelessly routes the queries to the Shield TV and playbacks the reply from the nearest spot device. Availability is a few months away and it will retail for a $50 USD. Okay, Google, pause. And then they'll be implementing media controls to be able to pause, play, fast forward, rewind. Okay, Google, show me my pictures from 2015. So those are 2015 pictures. Nicely displayed up to 4K resolution. Okay, Google. Pull up my pictures of Jensen. Okay. So it does face, face recognition on all the pictures. Pulls up the Jensen ones. The new Shield TV in 16 gigabyte form factor is available for pre-order now, and it will ship in the United States, Canada, and select European regions later this month for $200 USD. If 16 gigabytes is not enough for you, 
The $300 USD Shield Pro will also be available later this month with a 500 gigabyte storage and a remote with a headset jack. Since the Shield TV features two USB 3.0 ports, a micro SD card slot, a gigabit LAN port, and obviously 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, you probably don't need the version with the built-in 2.5 inch 500 gigabyte hard drive, but that's up to you. By the way, if you own an existing Shield TV, there will be an update coming your way that will upgrade your device to Android 7.0 and will give you every feature mentioned above. However, you'll need to buy the $50 remote control if you want to use the Google Assistant feature, since that remote contains the necessary microphone that you'll need for voice controls. So there you have it. Not only has the Shield TV become less expensive, but it has also become much more capable. It will be interesting to get this on our hands to test sometime after the show. I'm Ebro with Hurricane X. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.